God is looking for you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't click off the video. This message is for you. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9, it says the eyes of the Lord run to and fro, meaning to and from the whole earth, looking for those to show himself through whose hearts are perfect towards him. In other words, God, are, God is looking for those who are looking for him, whose hearts are fixed on him who have a mind that's ready to let go of the past and understand that God holds my future. And he knows my future. So I fully submit everything to him because the scriptures say God wants to show himself through you. There was a lifeguard at the beach and there was a guy out there that looked like he was drowning. He was trying his best to stay afloat. He was swinging his arms and everybody at the beach was yelling at the lifeguard and saying, I need you to go save him. Why are you just sitting there? The lifeguard just sat there chilling for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes went by. The guy is still swinging his arm. He's kicking. He's doing all of this stuff. And people are literally, you know, like, like, you know, they about to swing on your boy. You know what I'm saying? They look at the lifeguard like, hey, like, this your job. Won't you go save him? The lifeguard is still sitting there, you know, chilling. After another 10 minutes went by. The guy out there, he stopped swinging and he started, he just started floating. That's when the lifeguard got up, put his lawn chair on the side and walked out there to the guy. And then he picked him up because, you know, he floating on the table, he just picked him up. And he walked all the way back on the sand and then he rescued him. And the guy he rescued got up and started laughing and went and went on playing. Like he didn't even have time to talk to anybody about what just happened. He just kept going, went over there throwing the football and stuff. And so the people around him, they looked at the lifeguard and say, hold on a second. I got to ask you a question. Why didn't you go save him at first? Like you were just sitting there like, come on. I know you've seen him drowning. The lifeguard looked at him and say, if I would have went out there while he was swinging like that, while he was still doing his own thing, while he was trying to do it with his own strength, he would have pulled both of us down. I had to wait till he completely exhausted himself so I could show my strength and I could get the job done. Because see, the Bible say his power is made perfect in our weakness. And I want you to understand something today. Maybe you like that guy out there in the ocean. You're trying to do it on your own. You're, try, you're trying everything, trying to do it on your own. But spiritually, what God wants you to do is float and invite him in so he could do his work, so he could show himself through you. God want to turn your mess into a message. He want to take that test and make it your testimony. Everything that you done been through, God want to show himself through you. But you got to get out the way. The Bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper. But you got to make sure you're not the weapon forming against yourself. I want to pray for you. Lord, I pray for the, the person that's under the sound of my voice. I ask you, Lord, to do a work on their heart. Help them to understand it's all about you and it's not about them. Help them to understand that your power is made perfect in their weakness. Help them to submit themselves to you and want to be used. I pray for a fresh fire in their life. I pray for a burden for the lost souls. Give them an overwhelming urgency to want to spread your word and want to talk to people about you. Help them to focus on what matters, which is being used by you. And we love you, Lord. And we thank you for this time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to click the like button. Then I need you to comment the words, God is going to use me. Because that's right. God going to use you. And listen to me. Once you fully submit yourself to God like we just did, you start to see things clear now. You got vision. The sun that used to penetrate your eyes where you couldn't even see. You got the blockers on now. Vision is beautiful. Why is that? 
because God wants to show himself through you. That means he's going to give you a new type of vision where you can see what really matters and not be affected by the elements like the sun. Because he is the son. S-O-N. Jesus loves you. I love you so much. You have an amazing day.